Hey everybody, Tony Goldhart here once again for Punks Doing Stuff. And today I wasn't actually planning on doing anything, but I guess I am because I went to the store and I got this. A big, big slab of um, pork rib. And then it came at a really low price of $9.22. So I'm going to be making that. So far I'm getting things uh, set up right now. I just decided to start recording this because I was like, shit, I guess I should record it, huh? Um, right here I've got my onions all cut up. I'm going to cut up some more. I've only gone through this much of the onion. But I'm going to cut that up, make a bed of that. And then I'm also going to put some seasoning. Um, where the hell is it? Here we go. I'm going to put some of this uh, Creole seasoning on there. I'm going to put that, a little bit of black pepper, maybe some garlic powder. Some of that stuff, I'm just going to pop it into the oven and bake it. This recipe is really, really simple. And I just read the back of the thing and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to cut this guy in half because it's not all going to fit on my baking sheet. I've got another baking sheet right over here with nothing on it. That one is also going to get onions on it. But I'm going to cut that stuff up, put it on there, bake it for two hours at 350. And then that should get it pretty good. Um, let me see what else, what else. Uh, I've got bread, regular white bread, because I'm probably going to have to eat that in a sandwich because I just had a root canal done today. Um, the swelling is still there, but the numbness is gone, so I can talk now. The other thing that uh, is a must-have for this, big-ass jar of pickles. Because pickles and pork rib go pretty good together. So I'm going to slice up some pickles after I cut up this stuff and that stuff, and then get all that put into the oven. But for right now, I've still got a lot of cutting to do. So I'm going to go and do that. So yeah, I forgot to say that um, I was going to season the onions before I put the meat on there. But this is what the onions look like when they're seasoned. This is also the other pan. And yeah, that's just the um, this right here. Garlic powder. The black pepper. Ground. You don't have to use um, ground, back, ground black pepper from a pepper grinder just regular pepper but you know whatever and uh, the Creole seasoning those are the only things that I put on these onions and then the meat I cut it open and I haven't even gone too far because I didn't want to get too much stuff on my hands but I was going to show you all that and then I'm going to cut this up into thirds put a third here a third there and then for the final third I'm going to try and cut that as close to half as I can and stack it up on top because those are the only cooking sheets that I have and they're pretty small so all this isn't going to fit on there and then I'm going to rub this stuff some uh, barbecue sauce I've got plenty of barbecue sauce rub it on there on the bottom and on the top throw them on top of there and then just pop them inside the oven so I'm going to cut this up and then I'll show you all what it looks like once I get all that on there while I'm about to put it in and here we are after painstakingly covering these things with uh, barbecue sauce and a little bit more seasoning and topped it off with some onions. Rebecca helped me as I was holding the thing upside down. She squirted it on the barbecue sauce and seasoned it. And then we flipped it right side up and then covered it with more barbecue sauce and seasoned it. Then we threw on what was left of the onions on the very top so that it will all cook together. Um, easy way to spread barbecue sauce on there, just basically with your finger. Squirt it on, go side to side, side to side. And then that's all you gotta do. Just, you know, side, 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 forward, up, down all those good directions make sure that it's thoroughly covered and then uh, we threw the onions on there now it's time to throw it into the oven and it'll cook for uh, it's at one and a half to two hours I'm gonna do two hours just to be sure and the barbecue sauce should keep the moisture in there so it should taste pretty good and it won't dry out so I'm gonna put that in there and I will be back in about two hours do hours later all right now it's time it is two hours after we put these guys in so I'm gonna take them out right now and uh, hopefully not burn myself actually I should probably grab a t-shirt or something because I don't have even mitts so I'm gonna take this out I'm just gonna pull one of them out and then we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like It's gonna be hell trying to take this thing out. Let's see. We'll grab on one side. Grab on the 
other side. And there we go. Right. One big ass amount of ribs right there. Like I said, I had to do it in two because, uh, yeah, it would not fit on one cooking sheet. I was actually thinking that I was going to have to cut it in half and then cut off other bits and then put them on top, but it all worked out just right. So those are the ribs. Uh, let's take another look at it right here. Those onions kind of crisped it up and melted and all that good stuff, but the flavor should have definitely soaked in there. This thing looks nice. And it's going to be really good, and it is definitely time to eat right now. Um, my mouth is still a little bit tender from the uh, root canal, but I'm just going to have to cut the bits off and then, you know, um, just eat it like that. Just cut it off of the bone instead of actually grabbing onto the bone and eating it. But that's what happens whenever you have a root canal the day you decide to eat ribs. But like I said, it was just too good of a deal to pass up. So anyway... Yeah, that was the whole thing. Very, very easy to do. It just happens to take a really, really long time. So, um, yeah, that was that for this one. I've also got my Battle Vest video that I'm still making. I've actually got the stuff inside this box over here. You got all the fabric, studs, and a bunch of other crap in here. And then that is what I'm going to be working on next before I do anything else, unless there's something that I'm going to cook that uh, seems pretty cool and that I if I decide to record it I'll record it but I'm gonna jump on to part three of my battle vest video and uh, that's gonna be pretty fun it's gonna take up some time definitely but right now all I've got is time <laughs> so I'm gonna do that um, hit the like button if you like the video subscribe if you want to subscribe um, share the video comment let me know how you do your ribs or uh, if you want to see me make something else to eat uh, I do a whole lot of different things with food. There's a lot of stuff that I should have recorded but just never got around to because I didn't feel like it. Uh, this thing I decided uh, I might as well. It's only going to take a couple extra minutes on uh, top of what I'm already doing and it's already going to take you know several hours. But um, yeah, stick around for the next video and I'll catch y'all then.